and a warm welcome to our dignitaries here with us today, today in Calgary and those viewing our event live stream. My name is Aubrey Zalaski and I'm honored to be your Master of Ceremonies for the 2020 Police and Peace Officers Memorial Day. This is the 22nd year that we've gathered to honor the 100 brave men and women who have died in the line of duty while protecting Albertans since 1876. Since the provincial government proclaimed this day in 1999, we have traditionally held a ceremony for the public on the Alberta legislature grounds. But the COVID-19 pandemic has made large public gatherings impossible. Despite the pandemic, it is still important to recognize the bravery and sacrifice of our fallen officers, as well as the deep loss felt by their families, colleagues, and friends. This is a year that has brought home the day-to-day -day courage exhibited by our police and peace officers as they remained on the front lines to keep us safe amid the heightened risk of the pandemic. This year also underscored, in the worst possible way, the dangers of the job, with the death of RCMP Constable Heidi Stevenson among 22 people killed in a shooting rampage in Nova Scotia. So here we are today to remember and pay tribute to our fallen officers and to offer comfort, sympathy, and respect to their loved ones and colleagues. We are together in time, if not in place. We will never forget. Great attend! Shut! Central party commander, place sentries! At this time, I would like to welcome our special guests in attendance today. Now I would ask all those present to please stand and welcome the Honorable Salma Lakani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta. Please remain standing for the Vice Regal Salute.
those in attendance, please remain standing for the singing of O Canada. Service Chaplain Dr. Miriam Mulhorine will now lead us in the opening prayer. With recognition and respect that we come from various faith traditions and communities, I invite you in a manner which is comfortable for you to join your faith with mine as we pray. We gather today united in heart and purpose, as we honor, remember, and acknowledge courageous men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. We are stewards of their memories and will never forget. We are grateful for their public service and their dedication to their calling. We also remember their loved ones and families who are a unique and important part of that calling. God of mercy and life, we ask your presence to be with us, knowing we are all called to live our lives for causes greater than ourselves. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite the Honorable Salma Lakani. Lieutenant Governor of Alberta to provide opening remarks. Thank you, Detective Zelaski. Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored and privileged to be a part of this ceremony today and to join you in paying tribute to Alberta's fallen police and peace officers. To begin, I'd like to respectfully acknowledge that we are gathered on Treaty 7 territory. I'd also like to extend my heartfelt sympathies to those among us who are mourning the loss of a fallen officer. As you may know, my husband Zaheer and I came to Canada 43 years ago after being expelled from our native Uganda. Like so many others who have come to Alberta and Canada from around the world to build a new and better life, we have a profound appreciation for the peace, stability, and security that flourishes here. It is indeed a precious gift and one that we as Canadians are privileged to enjoy. It is important for us to remember the risks that our first responders accept and the sacrifices they make in order to help preserve that gift. And when the unthinkable happens and we lose one of our uniformed officers, it falls to us to care for the loved ones they leave behind and to honor the legacies 
they created through their selfless service. As Her Majesty the Queen's representative in Alberta, I offer my sincere thanks to all of the police, peace officers, and first responders across our province for sharing your strength, courage, and dedication, particularly through the extraordinary challenges of the current pandemic. To the hardworking women and men in leadership roles throughout Alberta's uniformed services, I offer my gratitude for your tireless work to ensure that help is always there when we call and to adapt to the changing needs of the communities you serve. Again, to family, friends, and colleagues who are mourning a fallen officer, I extend my sincere condolences, and I hope that this annual ceremony brings you comfort and peace. Please know that their memories and their proud service are cherished today, tomorrow, and always. Thank you to all, and please stay well. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to now invite the Honorable Jason Kenney, Premier of Alberta, to speak. We gather here today to pay tribute to Alberta's fallen police and peace officers, just as Canadians gather from coast to coast uh, to remember fallen peace and police officers who have died defending the rule of law, the, the innocent, maintaining a peaceful society. I'm humbled to be in the presence of so many remarkable women and men who have devoted their lives to protecting the innocent, to maintaining public safety and the rule of law. You stand here today, part of a long historic tradition of service to a higher cause. We should remember that the very foundation of policing here in Alberta was to protect indigenous people. When the Northwest Mounted Police were deployed by the Dominion government to stop American whiskey traders and wolfers who were attacking and exploiting First Nations communities in the 1870s. You continue that tradition of protecting the innocent from violence and exploitation. When others seek safety or shelter, uh, you are the ones, police and peace officers are the ones who run toward danger, who protect the innocent from the wickedness of criminal violence. Together with those who serve in our country's uniform in Her Majesty's Canadian Armed Forces, the service of peace and police officers represents the highest calling. Our vulnerable, those in need, those who look to police when they need help. You put your lives on the line to protect people. It's service that sadly sometimes comes at a high price. And that is why today we remember the 100 men and women who have lost their lives in the line of duty since the death of Northwest Mounted Police Subconstable John Nash in 1876. We do more than mourn their loss, however. We also remember their courage. And we offer our unending and heartfelt thanks to the families that they left behind, while we pray that no others must bear this loss. Those of us who live in a free and peaceful society, such as Canada, such as Alberta, have a moral obligation to remember the sacrifices of those who have maintained uh, that peace and that freedom, just as p peace and police officers do uh, every single day. And so, in the, for the memory of those who have fallen, uh, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. And may, may we all express to
together gratitude for those women and men who bravely don the uniform every day uh, to risk their lives for the protection of all of us. Thank you, Premier Kennedy. And now the Honorable Casey Madu, Minister of Justice and Solicitor General. Thank you, officer. We must always pay tribute to Alberta's law enforcement officers who gave their lives in the line of duty. To not is to take the safety that our law enforcement provides for granted. The safety we Albertans enjoy every day comes at a cost, a sacrifice made by the women, men, and families of law enforcement. And while we cannot gather as a group this year at the pillar of strength, I, am, I, I encourage everyone who visits the legislature grounds at any time of the year to pause at this memorial and to observe a moment of silence in honor of our province's peace and police officers, both past and present. My deepest respect and thanks go out to Alberta's law enforcement officers and to their families and loved ones for their excellent service and selfless sacrifice from a grateful province and people Please accept our highest gratitude. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Minister Madhu. Our next speaker is Chief Mark Newfeld, representing the Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police. Thank you, Aubrey. On behalf of my colleagues at the Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police, thank you, Your Honour, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Premier Kenny. Thank you, uh, Minister Madhu, uh, for your support and acknowledgement of the sacrifices of the women and men who serve our province. These are our brothers and sisters, our husbands and our wives, our daughters and sons. They have given their lives to protect Albertans and to ensure the well-being and safety of our communities. Five years ago, RCMP Constable David Wynne was shot and killed in St. Albert, following up on what sort of began as a quote-unquote routine license plate check of an unoccupied vehicle. Edmonton Police Service Constable Daniel Woodall was fatally injured while attempting to arrest and issue a promise to appear to a suspect for a hate crime incident. Ten years ago, RCMP Constable Chelsea Robinson was searching for a suspect or a suspected impaired driver along the highway when she was killed in a collision with a transport truck. Fifteen years ago, we lost four brave RCMP officers in Mayorthorpe, Constables Brock Myrell, Peter Sheeman, Anthony Gordon, and Leonide Johnson. That same year, we also lost RCMP Constable Jose Agostino, who was assisting a fellow officer with a collision investigation when his vehicle was struck by a large delivery truck. And 20 years ago, Calgary Police Service Constable Johnny Petropoulos was investigating a break and enter complaint when he stepped onto a false ceiling and fell to the floor below. His family is here with us today, representing all of the families of the fallen on what is actually the 20th anniversary of Johnny's death. This day not only recognizes the sacrifice of police officers, but also, as has been mentioned, our peace officers. They are an important part of our first responder community in this province. They mediate neighbor disputes, uphold municipal bylaws and provincial statutes, protect parks and recreational areas, our wildlife, and keep our roads safe. And they too have felt the sting of loss. Eight years ago in 2012, Municipal District of Foothills Community Peace Officer Rodney Lazenby was killed after responding to a dog complaint at a rural residence. 
Officer Lazenby was, prior to joining the municipal district, a seasoned member of the RCMP and had served his country with honour. In the past 20 years, there have in Alberta been 21 police and peace officers killed in the line of duty. The circumstances of their deaths demonstrate that there is no such thing as a routine call. Every time police or peace officers put on their uniform, they enter into unpredictable environments on behalf of all of us. We rely on their skill, their ability, and indeed their humanity to make split-second and critical decisions. Some of these involve life and death without the luxury of hindsight, without the luxury of great information, and without the luxury of time. Today, we not only honour our fallen, but their families, who have given so much to citizens of our great province. Moments of reflection such as this remind us of the core of who we are and why the reasons why each of us chooses to serve. We shall never forget the ultimate sacrifice given by those who have come before us. Thank you, Chief Newfeld. I would like to call upon Sergeant Curtis Hoople to speak on behalf of the Alberta Federation of Police Associations. Distinguished guests, my fellow brothers and sisters in law enforcement and policing, and most importantly, all family and friends of the fallen. Good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Curtis Hoople, and I have the honour to stand before you today representing the Alberta Federation of Police Associations, an association that represents 4,800 plus Alberta municipal police officers. I don't have to tell anyone that 2020 has been unprecedented for all of us. The pandemic closures and mandatory isolation forced us all to stall our busy lives while paying close attention to our family, friends and work colleagues. We were reminded how important family is and the value of slowing life down to enjoy each other's company. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. We laughed, we cried, we cooked, and we waited for the world to balance and open for business. The world flipped upside down for most to comprehend what the new normal looks like moving forward and remind us how important family is. Remember that feeling while you reflect and pay respects to our fallen members and families. They have made the ultimate sacrifice and only have the memories on how, to how it felt to laugh, cry, cook, and touch the loved ones that they loved. This day doesn't really care what, about what's going on in the world. Our province and nation pauses and embraces the memories of all law enforcement and police officers that have lost their lives while protecting the communities they watch over. This is the time to hug our loved ones while saluting the very flame that burns strong on top of the pillar of strength. This flame illuminates the names etched into its foundation so people can routinely note till the end of time. This year more than ever, our association, agencies and government leaders need to remind everyone how important our police and peace officers are to our communities. Everyone needs to hear how incredible, committed, trained, and selfless our men and women in uniform are. Everyone needs to listen to their stories that leave permanent scars which never heal. All communities need to look around and remember who responds when our number is called. Our leaders need to reinforce how our men and women in law enforcement and policing require your openness, patience, understanding during times of social unrest and tension. This Memorial Day is the time to pay tribute to our fallen while surrounding ourselves with people who keep their stories alive and present. I encourage all of you in attendance and over video to take pride knowing you are part of an incredible family that will always pause to remember, salute, and then march forward to do the work tomorrow. May we always remember and take time to say thank you. Thank you, Sergeant Hoople. In a moment, you'll hear the names of the 100 officers who have died in the line of duty, who made the ultimate sacrifice to keep us safe. I will now ask Staff Sergeant Tom Callis of the RCMP and retired 
Sorry, having some technical difficulties here. And retired Sergeant Jim Carey of the retired sheriff's branch to come read the names of the fallen officers. I also ask everyone present to please rise and honor these men and women and their families. All right, attention! Subconstable John Nash, Northwest Mounted Police. Constable Marmaduke Grayburn, Northwest Mounted Police. Constable Claudius S. Hooley, Northwest Mounted Police. Recruit Constable Adam Wall, Northwest Mounted Police. Constable Alfred Perry, Northwest Mounted Police. Constable William Tyrell Reading, Northwest Mounted Police. Constable James Heron, Northwest Mounted Police. Sergeant William Brock Wild, Northwest Mounted Police. Staff Sergeant Arthur F. M. Brook, Northwest Mounted Police. Constable George Ernest Wilmot, Northwest Mounted Police. Deputy Warden Richard Stedman, Alberta Penitentiary. Constable Francis Walter Davies, Royal Northwest Mounted Police. Constable Robert George McIntosh, Canadian Pacific Police Service. Corporal Maxwell George Bailey, Royal Northwest Mounted Police. Sergeant Paul Smith, Lethbridge Police. Constable Arthur Sandy Duncan, Calgary Police. Constable Frank Beavers, Edmonton Police. Staff Sergeant George Henry Leopold Bonsange, Royal Northwest Mounted Police. Constable William Nixon, Edmonton Police. Constable Frederick W. E. Bailey, Alberta Provincial Police. Corporal Ernest Usher, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Special Constable Nick Kislik, Alberta Provincial Police. Constable Frank Henry Sissons, Alberta Provincial Police. Constable Stephen Oldacres Lawson, Alberta Provincial Police. Constable George Edward Osgood, Alberta Provincial Police. Constable Charles Nikolai Petty, Drumheller Police. Park Warden Andrew Bauer, Parks Canada. Park Warden Percy Hamilton Goodair, Parks Canada. Inspector Joseph Carruthers, Calgary Police. Corporal Michael Moriarty, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable George Campbell Harrison, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Sergeant Thomas Seller Wallace, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Frederick Gordon Frank Council, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Wilfred James Cox, Calgary Police. Constable Gordon E. Bondurant, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Wilfred James Cobble, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Forest Ranger and Game Guardian, Jacob Howard Pegg, Department of Lands and Mines. Constable George Vaughn, Edmonton Police. Constable Herschel Taylor Wood, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Park Warden Robert Jones, Parks, Canada. Constable George 
Donnelly, Edmonton Police, Constable Roy Eldon Laird, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable David Romano, Edmonton Police, Constable Kenneth John Delmage, Calgary Police, Sergeant Malcolm G. F. Jack, Edmonton Police, Constable Joseph Thompson, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable James Walter Foreman, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable Calvin Lamont Byam, Lethbridge Police, Constable Gordon Donald Pearson, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Corporal Donald Archibald Harvey, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable Robert William Varney, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Park Warden Robert Marac, Parks Canada, Park Warden James Brink, Parks Canada, Detective Boyd Davidson, Calgary Police, Staff Sergeant Alan Keith Harrison, Calgary Police, Correctional Officer Conrad E. Coons, Alberta Solicitor General, Constable Dennis M. N. Shikowski, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable William Shaliver, Calgary Police, Park Warden Neil Michael Colgan, Parks Canada, Constable Richard John Sedwick, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Forester James Brian Mason, Alberta Energy and Natural Resources, Forest Officer Roger Norman Oneski, Alberta Energy and Natural Resources, Constable Alan Gary Giesbrecht, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Corporal Bud Maurice Johansson, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Auxiliary Constable Frederick A. Abel, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable Scott G. Berry, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Special Constable Gordon Zygmunt Kowalczyk, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Forest Officer Don Lalonde, Alberta Department of Forestry, Lands and Wildlife. Special Constable Nancy Putkemery, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Special Constable Vincent Norman Timms, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Ezio Ferrone, Edmonton Police. Constable Robert John Vanderweel, Calgary Police. Park Warden Patrick Donald Sheehan, Parks Canada. Constable Brent Harold Viefkind, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Richard Sonberg, Calgary Police. Park Warden Simon Parbuzik, Parbuzing, Parks Canada. Forester Gordon William Brown, Alberta Environmental Protection. Forest Officer 2, Daniel Warren Brink, Alberta Environmental Protection. Corporal Graham Charles Cumming, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Noel Sande, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Johnny Petropolis, Calgary Police. Senior Ranger, Ranger John H. T. Graham, Alberta Sustainable Resource Development. Constable Darren L. Beatty, Calgary Police. Park Warden Michael Wynn, Parks Canada. Constable Christine Diot, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Superintendent Dennis Massey, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Gislaine Maurice, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Corporal Stephen 
Gibson, Military Police, Corporal James Wilbert Gregson Galloway, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable Peter Christopher Scheman, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, <clears throat> Constable Leonide Nicholas Johnston, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Constable Anthony Fitzgerald Orion Gordon, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Brock Warren Myrell, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Jose Manuel Augustino, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Corporal Randy Payne, Military Police. Constable James Lundblad, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Chelsea Allison, Constable Chelsea Alice Robinson, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Community Peace Officer Rodney Francis Lazenby, Municipal District of Foothills. Constable David Matthew Wynn, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Constable Daniel Woodall, Edmonton Police. I would ask that you please remain standing for the playing of the last post, the moment of silence, and the Piper's Lament.
Please be seated. All right, get that. Our ceremony will now continue with the laying of a single memorial wreath in honor of our fallen comrades. I'm honored to call upon Miss Mary Ann Pope, widow of, widow of fallen Calgary police officer Johnny Petropolis, to lay a wreath representing the families of all fallen police and peace officers. Miss Pope is accompanied by Calgary Police Service Sergeant Ian Vernon, a friend and comrade of Constable Petropolis. Our piper will now play Amazing Grace. I would ask everyone to please stand as Dr. Miriam Mollering leads us in the closing prayer. God of courage and strength, we pray that we will never be silent with our gratitude as we acknowledge those who stand here today in uniform, representing hundreds of men and women from a diversity of backgrounds. Protect them as they continue to answer the call, responding to unknown danger with courage and conviction. May they have a deep awareness that ordinary citizens, communities, and elected leaders are grateful for their service. May God bless you with health, protection, discernment, good judgment, humility, and strength. And we pray that we will be like shining lights on a hill extending kindness, respect, and a unified hope for the future. May God give all of us a strong peace and a sustained hope in the midst of these times of challenge, uncertainty, and chaos. And so today we remember and salute our fallen members May their courage be contagious, their commitment be inspiring, and their dedication and their memory be eternal. Amen. Please remain standing and join us in the singing of God Save the Queen. Hooray! Attention!
God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save the Queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, long to reign over us, God save the Queen. In ordinary circumstances, this would be the part of our ceremony when hundreds of police and peace officers from across the province would march off the parade square in Edmonton and pay their respects to the fallen. This year, we're going to pay tribute with a vehicular march past, with vehicles representing Alberta's police and peace officer organizations led by our mounted and motor officers. I ask those in attendance to please remain standing as the procession makes its way past. I would like to conclude by thanking the Calgary Police Service, the Sergeant Majors of Alberta's Police and Peace Officer Organizations, and representatives from the Solicitor General for making this event possible amid the challenges posed by the ongoing pandemic. To everyone viewing our live stream, thank you for taking the time 
wherever you are, to remember our fallen police and peace officers.